that's all the way up at four inches. We're gonna lower it down a, 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 a little bit. I thought my toy belt was cutting at four inches all the way up. Obviously, my toy belt probably cutting at three and a half or, or three and a quarter. So we're gonna let this down. We're gonna let this down a little bit and see what happens. I was bagging on full bag and we'll go through some of them features that's pretty that's pretty small clippings that's pretty neat let's uh let's mow it again let me talk about something real quick here see this green knob this lever so you have mulch which closes the door that's inside here there's a door right in here mulching keeps all the clippings under the deck and that fancy two blade system is going to or yeah, it's going to chop it all up to heck. The bag opens the door all the way up, and you see it allows the clippings to come flying out. Now, you can also rear discharge by putting it on bag and closing the door here and not putting the bag on, and this is open, and the clippings will come falling down. You can then, excuse me, you can then mix it. Let's say you have a lot of leaves or you're cutting some taller grass, and it's a little bit too much to mulch and it's killing your machine, then you can do like half and half. So now this door right here is open a little bit, so some clippings will come out and some will get mulched up. So it'll allow some clippings to come out and fall or bag. So if it's too much to mulch and you don't want to bag at all, then you can find the mix and do both. I thought that was neat. I thought that was a great feature that the Honda has. I don't know of any other machines that have that in my price range that I was looking. And so that really did help a lot. Um, so that's one of the cool features of the Honda that really helped put this over the edge for me. Let's go ahead and mulch for a little bit. I'm a little bit more comfortable with that height so we're at three and a half basically we're right between the three and the four so supposedly that's going to be three and a half inches i could be wrong i'm not going to measure it i'm not too worried about it but it's a nice height i like this height right here this looks pretty good i want to cut my grass tall today hold on please mail call yay for my dodge my license plate all right, so that's where we're at. All right, so we just mulched it and we did it with the bag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rear discharge. So I'm going to put the, the, the bar here all the way to bag. I'm going to have it so that door is all the way open and we're going to keep this chute down and we'll see what the video can show if you can see the, the clippings falling down. All right, just for the heck of it. Now this Honda comes with the GCV 190 motor. It's not 190 cc's but it's darn close. It's 180 something. I don't remember what, but I'm not going to tell you guys it's a 190 cc motor and that's why I bought it. it. It's a very powerful motor and it has a lot of torque. Uh, the torque on this motor was almost the same torque that the, uh, the Time Master 30 has. So it's, that's pretty darn good. That's a lot of power. Um, so it's the HRX 217. We're going to go a little bit further into details. Let's go ahead and mow it now. Um, couple strips like I said and let's rear discharge that's interesting I never did that before <laughs> Uh, the only rear discharging I've done, well, that's not important. Uh, so, 
That was pretty cool. I like the way that that just worked out. Uh, a little bit of clipping is coming out from right here. I like that. Um, we're going to try it in some thicker grass later on in this video. Uh, so another feature that this mower has besides the bigger, the bigger motor um, was the overall build construction with things like the littlest things that's so important. Um, a 2.5 bushel bag, which is a pretty good sized bag, um, but really important are these ball bearing wheels. I mean, that is so smooth, you know, no wobble, perfect. And that right there, these nine inch wheels with the ball bearings is going to make for a nice smooth cut, less fatigue on the operator, and it's going to last longer. You got ball bearings going around instead of bushings. So you're not going to get that wobble uh, in the wheels and stuff, which then you get the like this and then you got chopping, your mowers chopping as the wheels are going. You see what I'm saying? So that's really important to me. Uh, the motor was really important to me. And one more thing that was really important to me, but let's go ahead now and we're going to put the bag attachment on and we're going to mulch and bag at the same time. So like I said, if you got some really tall stuff and I want to demo it now so you know what we're doing later, you go ahead and put this from bag to mulch, put it pretty much right in the middle. I got it on one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, right in the middle. So the door in here that lets the clippings out is only half open. So now we're gonna put the bag on and this will help put grass into the bag attachment to help ease the mulching. So there you go at about a three and a half inch height. That's a nicely cut yard right there. That looks pretty good. Real nice cut. The grass is cut, not shredded. Does a good job. If you ever see that white stuff on your grass where the edges are all shredded, that means your blade's dull. So this blade's doing real good, of course. It's brand new. I think we got the height we want. So now we could just mess around. I don't have to bag my yard. I can go ahead and just mulch it. I'll go ahead and mow my front yard here. I'll just let you guys check out the mower and see how it works. I have it set up with the door half open, half closed. So we'll go ahead and uh, bag and mulch, at the, well, we'll rear discharge and mulch at the same time. like pretty quiet um, the transmission so the way this works is you dial it the more you dial it the more it pulls this back which gives you more pull on the cable so the more pull on the cable the faster the ground speed is I've been running it right here almost nothing and it's moving along pretty good pretty good speed
How does that cut look to you guys? At three and a half inches. I think it looks really nice. I think it's a nice cut. Of course, it's a brand new blade, so I'm not going to say anything stupid, but that's a pretty nice cut. All right, let's go ahead and rock it out now. I'm going to go full mulch. So that's this knob right here. So you see we got it in the middle. Full mulch. Door is shut. So nothing's coming down the bottom here. There's, there's something I want to make a point of um, a comparison between this mower and the Troy built TB360 when I was cutting this lawn last weekend because I do it every weekend when I would come to the driveway it would put grass everywhere the deck would unload onto the concrete the clippings kept being up in there as I mow it today, and I come up on the concrete, it's like I don't even need to blow off. So I just kind of wanted to make note of that. That's an efficient deck. That's a deck that's running efficiently. And it's on the full um, mulch mode. So it's not letting clippings escape. So you guys know like when it comes with me, cost, power, reliability, that matters, warranty, dealer close, I don't do internet purchases with this stuff, um, but also efficiency in that sense of I'm mowing this yard and I don't even have to blow off yet, whereas with a less expensive mower, rightfully so, you know, apples to apples here, um, there'd be crap all over the place. So. You kind of do get your money's worth, whether it's a, a Troy built, um, I'm sorry, whether it's the Toro Super Recycler or if it's the Honda um, that we're using here, you get your money's worth. Now, now would the Super Recycler do the same job? I, I'm not sure, but I know I couldn't find a Super Recycler local to me uh, with the 190cc motor. And I don't need the all wheel drive, so I don't want power going to all wheels and I don't want to pay for that mechanism. Um, so I put it toward the Honda. Nothing against the Super Recycler other than the Honda had the motor, the Honda had the wheels with the bearings, the Honda had the right price, and the Honda has those features of mulch, bag, mulch and bag at the same time, mulch and discharge at the same time. Uh, I just think that that can come, come more handy. Uh, it's more versatile, and that's even what it's called, a Versa Mo or something like that four in one because you can bag you can mulch you can bag and mulch at the same time um, and you can shred 
And what they mean by shred is uh, you put it like halfway in the middle and when you're going over leaves, it's going to keep circulating the leaves and chopping them up and then discharging them uh, out the back a little bit. And then you can go back over them one more time in full mulch mode and it'll shred the shit out of them and it'll be done, pulverized. Uh, so I think that's kind of neat if you don't actually need to bag them because then that's stuff you have to carry away. So, all right, enough about the communication. If you don't believe me, I, I'll, maybe I'll show you the invoice if I remember. But like I said, it was $5.49 on sale uh, plus tax, and I paid, I think, $5.83, I think is what it was. Um, so, and that wasn't a special deal for me, and I haven't even mentioned where I bought it from. And it wasn't Andy's because they're not a Honda dealer. Uh, it was All Seasons. So this is an endorsement for Honda or All Seasons. I did not get a deal, a break, or a discount. This was a Honda sale, $549, regularly $649. Long-winded, let's mow. today with this new mower is that we'll be able to get through this backyard three and a half inches without killing ourselves. To do this I'm going to open the chute almost all the way and let it rear discharge. I'm gonna then depending on how it functions I might then close the chute a couple and start mulching as we rear discharge. Okay? So that's what's gonna happen. This ain't gonna be easy but let's see what happens. See 
how it's leaving a lot of clippings though. It is awfully tall. So how do we fight that? Let's get the bag. Now the thing is, I have some areas that the dogs dig. It'll be nice to get some clippings into this bag. So let's mulch and bag. Okay, I'm not changing the settings. We are, we're in the third hole open from full mulch. So let's see what happens. what happened nothing's left on the grass and it's going through it let me show you the height can you see this cut not cut we're taking about six inches off of this grass guys all right it's going through it pretty darn well and it's not filling the bag up too fast. tricks guys all right there's no no speed time no nothing all right we've just been mowing and shredding this is not a review this is a demo I have not had this machine long enough to do a proper review a demonstration for this mower is have that little chute open a little bit so you're not full mulching and you're not full bagging and jamming your bag up in a heartbeat we're doing a little bit of both and man we're just cutting right through this a lot of power and torque in that motor. Well, what happened there is the camera was sitting in the sun in the backyard and it uh, overheated. So a few more times, I believe, coming up in this video, we're going to have like weird endings. Like it's just going to stop. So I wanted to just take a second to explain what we did from bagging um, mulch or uh, yeah, we did some mulching and bagging at this point in the video. We then moved into um, not bagging at all, not having uh, the bagger on and going full wide open rear discharge. 
And so there's going to be a lot of clippings on the grass. And we, so you missed the part where I wanted to demonstrate the clippings flying out the back. So if it was even taller, wetter, thicker stuff, you'd be able to get through it to at least get it chopped down. And then what you do with those clippings is up to you. What we end up doing is going to be coming up. It earlier, now I just did a few passes without bagging it just to show you in this really thicker stuff. It's not leaving too many clippings here. A couple things can happen with this machine now. I could, sorry, I could finish what I'm doing and then just go back over it and bag it up. Or I could finish what I'm doing and just go back over it, mulch it up. Or I could finish what I'm doing and just go back over it half and half. It doesn't matter. Let's just get through it before this storm gets here though.
guys didn't hear? You didn't hear the engine struggle. You never heard the engine struggle, not one time. And you never heard the engine shut off on me. You never even heard it try to shut off. You never saw me have to lift the deck. I think my camera's hot and it keeps turning off because it's just sitting in the sun baking. Um, probably need to drill some cooling holes in the cover. All right, I'm gonna mulch this and then we'll be done and we'll talk about it. Full mulch. All right, so we lost it again. Um, camera got hot again, right at the very end where I then kind of like just summarized the demo as to what we did uh, that day, yesterday. We went through all the features of the machine uh, and I wanted to demonstrate it in regular grass, just mowing, uh, 
a once a week yard, like maybe you're a homeowner and you're just looking to purchase a machine and you saw we effortlessly went through all different modes of mowing my front yard. And then when we went to the backyard where it was definitely taller, it rained every day for the past like two or three weeks here. So the grass is full of water, the ground was soft, it was thick, uh, and it handled it quite well, apparently. Uh, so as you can see, I'm not ready to do a review on it yet. Um, but I will say yesterday was pretty impressive um, and taking it through all the different steps that you can use for mowing was pretty neat. As I was sitting here editing this video, I'm looking forward to getting outside today and mowing the neighbor's yard. So uh, it really was neat. Uh, it was really, really a nice machine. So that's the only part of the review I'll give you guys right now that I can tell. Uh, but that's it. So that's all the different modes of mowing that you could do with this machine. Um, and you saw it handle some pretty thick stuff. So, you know, hopefully you guys don't let your lawns get much worse than that. But if they are much worse than that, it looks like this machine was able to handle it with all those different steps that you can do with mulching and discharging and bagging and sharing the load between them all. All right. So that's it. That's my demo. I hope you guys like it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. This is what